Okay, Dave, with Danny and Bobby Hurley here in their first year at Wagner. And guys, you know, so much has been made about how you guys wanted to come here together. And I, and I wonder, how difficult of a decision was it? How much convincing did you have to do to Bobby to get him to come to Wagner with you? <laughs> well, you know what, it was, uh, you know, first of all, I needed to convince myself, uh, you know, to leave St. Benedict's, which was you know, a great place for me, nine years you know, uh, helped raise a lot of kids, produced a lot of great players, had some great teams. And, and the school community was really tough for me to walk away from. I'd say without, uh, you know, without kind of the special presence of being able to work with Bobby, you know, I don't know if, I've, if I would have made the move personally. You know, I think that made it a lot more appealing to me, made it a lot more comfortable, you know, because, you know, you know, Division One college basketball coach is not ex exactly the least stressful thing that you can get into. <laughs> was it hard, Bobby? I mean, from my standpoint, I think I was maybe encouraging Dan more to do it. Um, he had done something over the last nine years. He was very successful. He was in a great situation and trying to maybe urge him to take the leap of faith here and know that we could accomplish some great things, you know, at the collegiate level. I have read a quote from you, Danny, that said 95% of what you guys have learned about basketball came from your dad. So tell me where the other 5% came from. Who was the other significant coaching influence and why in both of your lives? You know, I just think that, you, you, you know, it's, it's one of those professions where, you know, you're constantly looking for ideas. You know, I learned a great deal as an assistant coach in the Big East at Rutgers for four years. I had an opportunity to study some great styles and some great you know, Big East programs. Uh, and then over the course of nine years at St. Benedict's, you know, there's a lot of great high school coaches that I played against and, you know, did things that I, that I thought were effective. And as a coach, you're always looking, you know, for ways to tweak your philosophy. Um, you know, I think the advantage of being a high school coach, too, is you're not necessarily married to a system. Every year, you're, you're, you're your team changes at the high school level, so you've got to be able to coach different styles of teams, and, and, I, and I think that's been real beneficial to us this year. You know, obviously, uh, you know, having taken over a program that, you know, or a roster that was pretty set. How about you, Bob? Any spe specific influence? Well, I mean, for me, it's uh, it's obviously you know Coach K and having a chance to to play for him. I, there's no better person to have an opportunity to play for, and just learned a lot of maybe my core philosophies and and how I think about. You know how to run a program, how to how to coach, uh, you know how to emphasize defending, and and that's something I know that Dan values as a coach is is uh, having our guys work hard and play hard at the defensive end. Now these days you guys are getting as much press as Mantle and Marist did in the '60s, so I I'd like to know where does the pressure actually turn and become perhaps a, a potential negative into a positive? I, I feel no uh, you know negative pressure. You know, for me, this is a lot more relaxing than high school. You know, at St. Benedict's, if we lost uh, two games during the 30-game season, it was an epic failure. Uh, you know, we're seven and seven right now, and I feel like we've uh, accomplished an incredible amount. Um, you know, I think as the years go by, in terms of what we're building here, and as we recruit better, um, you know, and, and bring more talent in, you know, I think maybe the pressure could build as expectations rise, but. Um, you know, I, I don't feel pressure. I, I know how we work. I know how hard the kids work in practice. I know how great my staff is. Uh, and, and I know that we've got a great vision for what we want to do. And I have a lot of confidence in that. Danny Hurley and Bobby Hurley, thank you so much for joining us. Best of luck. I got it. Thanks. Dave, basketball's version of the Jersey Boys. They're making headlines on Broadway. Back to you. They are indeed in a very successful start at Wagner. They're looking to go to 4-0 in league play, up 12 here at the half.